So, uh, like I was saying, you guys are going to help me out with this one. So, um, flip to that page uh, in your book if you don't know all your alkyne reactions yet. But this is a good one to, um, you know, help you remember what all your alkyne reactions are. So, in other words, we've got the starting material here, and with this starting material, we can make several different products. And in fact, more than this, we're just showing uh, these ones. Um, what it's asking us essentially is what are the reagents that are used to perform all of these tasks, right, to make these um, particular products. So um, what I'm going to do is just throw it out there. Just, can anybody um, tell me any one of these uh, reactions, what the reagents would be? Top left. The top left one, that's an easy pickings, right? H2 palladium, that'll work. Does everybody agree with that one? Okay. Any other? The bottom one is uh, HCl. HCl, the bottom one. Which the one of these down here, you're saying? I mean the top one. The top up here. <laughs> what are you tripping me out? Trying to trip me up during the this is HCl. How many moles of HCl are you gonna use? One. Just one. That's what I was saying. Remember last reaction when I said, oh, like this one, we should, might should say two moles, but we were saying, well, we're not only just pumping one molecule of uh, hydrogen gas in there. In this one, they're trying to say, well, if you make your ratio one to one, you know, you're going to get this particular product. What kind of addition is going on here? What kind of addition? Markovnikov addition, Markovnikov, right? Because remember, what kind of alkyne is this here? Terminal, right? So it's got an H there, yeah. right? So where's the H going when we go here? To the right or left side? The right side, right? That's called what? Markovnikov, okay. Is there any other one that we can do? Yeah, well, not two moles of Br2. Uh-huh. H2 moles of HBr. What is this doing? What kind of addition here? Two times Markovnikov addition. This is HBr, and we can say, if we want to specify, two moles. We want to specify one mole. It'd be, it'd be fine, okay? It'd be fine. This one, you might want to just say one mole, just so you know that I know that you know, okay? But this one, if you just did HBr, okay, for us, in some other class, you might be made to say two moles, okay? Sorry, was there another question over here? This the is that that one? Yeah. So mercury sulfate. What else? H two O. H two O and H two S O four. What's the name of that molecule? H two S O four. Sulfuric acid. Very good. So that gives me. Remember the intermediate? Do you remember the intermediate between there? What's that called? Enol. An enol, right? So that gives me what kind of addition of an alcohol? Markovnikov, right? Markovnikov, again. The cool thing is, is there's not very many answers to these things, right? So once you know what you're supposed to say, then. The one on the left, that's on the bottom. This one here? Yeah, uh, BH3. Okay, so is that it? Just BH3? H2O2THF. So, okay, BH3THF. That's the first step, right? Okay, and then you have the second step, which is what? H2O2, NaOH, and usually they put water in here too, right? What kind of addition is that? 
anti Markovnikov. Good job, Christian. Do you see that it's anti Markovnikov there? Everybody else? All right. So, do you see that these are kind of giving you different regiochemistry, right? And giving you a carbonyl, but on opposite sides of that triple bond. The former triple bond, that is. So, we got two more out there. The top one? Yeah. So H2 and Lindler, you said? Yeah. H2 Lindler's. Lindler's catalyst, we'll say. Okay. Could you have done that one any other way? Yeah. You could have done. No, you can't. That one won't stop, okay? So don't ever put that. So you could have done this one instead. Um, Li. NH3 liquid like that. Either one would have worked. Okay. Uh, it's because it's a terminal outcome. Okay. And the last one, anybody got it? Uh -uh. No, look. So this one, how many carbons do we have here? So let's count them from here. One, two, three. Four, only, only a couple of us are counting, right? Four, right? So how many do we have here, starting here? One, two, three, any more? So what happened? What happened to this molecule here? That carbon on the end got cut off, right? So what does that? see it on that particular page. It's somewhere in the, the notes, though, or in the um, chapter. So the first step is what did you say? Uh, O3. O3. And you can, you don't have to put the solvent in there. Uh, um, so the second step, right, what do we do for the second step? What was it? 